I'm Toby from Lift Cape Mobility. Today we're going to be talking about our latest chairs, the Smart Chair X. Um, the type of user that this would be really good for is someone that either lives in the countryside, so they like their country walks, maybe have dogs, uh, so go on uneven wooded country paths, um, have kids or grandchildren playing in the park with them, um, or this would really suit the city type, so people that are always coming up to curbs, have cobbled streets, uneven footpaths, or maybe even pavements are sloping to the road as this chair is much more substantial in the way it holds the road, doesn't really veer off as much as other chairs, um, and it can eat up curbs for breakfast and rough terrain. Um, there's literally not another chair uh, on the market that can do things like uneven terrain, cobbles, grass or curbs like it on the market. It also has the highest ground clearance of any chair in the whole world, any electric folding wheelchair that is in the whole world. So I'm just gonna run through a quick demo, the way I'd demo a customer if they came to us. So to unfold the chair, simply push out the foot plate, reverse your hands, and part. That will unfold the chair. To fold the chair, simply push back on the foot plate and this time you're going to bring your hands together. So one motion is uh, pushing your hands apart and one motion is bringing your hands together. Once you get a bit more familiar with the chair, you can simply just flick it out, let gravity do its thing and there's a catch at the back which you just then lock off and that means you're good to go. It means you're nice and safe. So I'm going to talk about uh, I'm going to basically just go work my way around the chair and talk about it. So what we have here is we've got some red levers. They're attached to the motors and this disengages and engages the motors. So when they're back like this and it's, the chair won't move, that means you're in electric mode. A bit like a handbrake's being applied to the chair, it won't move. When you push the lotus forward, it means the chair goes into push mode. So there's not another chair on the market that can be pushed as easily as this. Basically, the better quality of the motors, the more, the more freely the wheels will run. I could push a growing 20 stone man in this chair simply with one finger easily. Um, it also means this chair could be operated a bit like a stroller. So a lot of our customers still want to have some exercise, mobility, but they also going to get tired quite easily. So they could use this chair as a stroller and then the minute they get tired, they can simply flip the motors back to electric mode. And when the joystick's in, it can then be, they can sit down and operate it as an electric chair like it's meant to be used for. Also, when the motors are disengaged, it means rather than having to lift the chair around the house like you used to have to do when electric folding wheelchairs came into place, play, now all you'd do instead is to get your chair out towards the car, you simply push the chair around the house, like this from the legs, or even easier, using the handle on the foot plate, drag it behind you uh, like a suitcase. So we, we, do, we do all these to make your life as easy as possible because although these chairs are very light in regards to electric wheelchairs, 26 kilos is still quite heavy. So no one really wants to be lifting things unnecessarily when you can just push them. So at the back of the chair, we've got two 250 watt brushless motors. These motors are literally the best motors you can buy on the market right now and certainly the most reliable. Um, when in electric mode, they are great at spinning on their own axis, making their chair spin on their own axis, great at changing direction quickly, great at going up and down hills, um, and they've got a very strong electromagnetic magnetic brake um, built into them, which means that you're, you've got 0.5 seconds stopping on down slopes, up slopes, or on the flat. As soon as you take your hand off the joystick, the chair will just stop. The reason why it's programmed to 0.5 seconds and not instant is because if you're going down uh, a slope, for example, and you, you have stopped instantly going too fast, it could jolt you out the chair, which is obviously unsafe. And the whole point of our brand and the chairs we provide is to make our customers as safe as possible. Okay, so that's your motors. Um, at the back, we've got a battery racking system. So the batteries we've provided when we built this chair is one 10AH and one 6AH. So the reason why we went for one of each is because the 10AH obviously gives you much more range. Um, so most people aren't flying the whole time, so they want to get as much range as possible, so you'd use the 10. Um, but we also provide the six, so you can swap between them and the six can then be taken on every airline in the whole world. Um, whereas the 10 can mainly only be taken on long haul flights. So people like British Airways, Virgin, um, flight uh, providers like that. But the best thing to do is obviously just contact your provider before you fly, because everyone's different. But all these companies are saying, oh, our, batch, our chairs are 12 AH batteries, 20 AH batteries, and their airlines say it's a complete load of nonsense. Under the new laws, which came in last year, 6 AH batteries are the only battery in the whole world which is safe on every airline. Okay, so to remove the battery, it's in a simple battery racking system. It's just put your hand underneath and flip, um, hold back onto the catch. And to push the battery back in, 
you just simply push it in until you hear the click. So they're quick release battery system, really easy. These batteries weigh only 0.5 kilo, uh, 1.5 kilos, so they're nice and light. You can charge directly into the batteries themselves as well, which is good for people that want to keep the batteries in uh, the chairs in the car and then just bring the batteries inside to charge. So I'm now going to talk about the wheels. So oh yeah, as you can see also, also as well, this is your ground clearance. So there literally isn't another chair on the whole market that has as high ground clearance for electric folding wheelchair as this one does. So it's got 12 and a half inch rear tires. These are rubber, which means they're nice and grippy. Um, they're puncture proof and they're solid. So no more punctures anymore, which is great, but they're also nice and spongy. So when you're going up and down curbs on rougher terrain, things like that, it's gonna be, it'll take all the impact um, out of the bumps, for example. So it'll be a much more comfortable, smoother ride. Also on the front, we've put eight inch PU solid tires, um, completely puncture proof again. And there aren't many chairs which have as big a wheels as this on the front. And this is great for getting up and down curbs, doing things like cobbles, um, and just basically adding to a much more smooth and more comfortable ride. Okay, so I'm now gonna get the joystick out of the front of the chair. So the joystick's kept in here. When you're at home, um, and this, or you own the chair, there's no real reason why you need to take the joystick off unless you're going into a car or public transport, for example. So what we'd really recommend is because it adds a bit of extra length to the chair when it's folded, and also it might get knocked around. The simple thing to do is if you know that you're going in a car and it's going in the boot, simply take it off, just put it in this little bag, which will protect it. Um, and it will also make the chair much more small, smaller folding dimensions. So to attach the joystick, you simply pop it in the end of the armrest. It's got a couple of, um, it's got a bit of um, length on here. So people with longer reach can have the joystick further out. People with smaller reach can have it spaced right in. Then you simply line up your white arrows, push and turn. So there are three different ways of getting in and out your smart chair. The easiest way is if you're nice, uh, if you've got a bit more mobility, so simply put your legs either side of the foot plate, find the armrest and sit down, putting your legs on last. The second way, and this will allow you to get a little bit closer to the chair, this is great for people that have um, different disabilities that maybe affect their balance or they're not that mobile. So it means having the foot plate up, I can now get about another half foot closer to the chair. So I just simply sit back down, find the armrest, and the foot plate would come down after. And the last way, and this is probably the way that I'd say half our customers get in and out of their chair, is all of our chair's armrests lift up. So not only is this great for getting in and out of the chair, because it actually is the way that it allows you to get as close to the chair as possible before finding the armrest and sitting down. But it also means that when you're out to places like lunch, um, you're at home working, or you're with friends, you can get right underneath tables for eating and drinking um, uh, and going out for dinner, things like that. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to get into the chair from the side. So I'd put my feet just the side of the chair, line myself up, find the seat and the armrest, and then I'd swivel my legs around after, and lastly the armrest would come down. So on the controls, we've got five buttons. We've got a green button which is on, a red button which is off, horn in the middle, and our speed buttons on the right. We've got a minus sign, which means decrease speed, and then we've got a plus sign, which will obviously increase our speed. On the right hand side, we've also got a little logo of a battery. This shows you our battery bar and how much, um, how full or how unfull our batteries are. Obviously the a full battery will show fully green, then amber, then red. And as you use up your range, you'll first of all use up your greens, then your ambers until you're finally in your red. The best time to uh, charge up is when you're in the last amber before red, because lithium batteries um, will work best when they're being used. But um, also, you don't want to, you have a trickle charge them. So after every time you go out, you don't want to just charge your batteries because you're going to use up the, the life of your battery. It's a good bat lithium quality lithium battery has about a thousand uses or three year cycle. So the best thing to do is drain 90% of your battery and only then put it up on charge overnight um, and take it off in the morning. Treat it a bit like you, if you would if it was your mobile phone and your battery will then last a lot longer as well. Um, so if I take, if I press the joystick and take my hand off, You'll hear a click and that's your electromagnetic brakes kicking in so that will come in like i said earlier 0.5 seconds whether you're on an upslope down slope or on the flat all our chairs spin on their own axis so they're very maneuverable um and they stop literally instantly so i could any direction i put the joystick in 
it can move. So I doesn't have to just be back into the side, I can go back whilst going to the side as well. It's like a video game controller. So as you can see, uh, this is why it's a best, our best seller, because um, it really is the safest chair you can buy on the market. It folds and unfolds in one second. It's got batteries you can use you know, in any plane anywhere in the world. Um, and it really does make people's lives much easier when going on curbs around the city um, or on country dog walks, you know, with their family and friends. It really does gives people their freedom back. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and uh, I'll see you on the next one.